Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be going over five different ways to carry this Boy Chapeau Souple and five reasons why I love this bag. So let's get started. The first way that you can carry this bag is as a crossbody. Currently I have it on the longest setting and let me show you what it looks like as a crossbody. For reference, I am 5'3", and as a crossbody, it hits me on the hip. Here's a side view. The second way for you to wear this bag is as a shoulder strap on the longest setting, right here. And you can also wear this on a shorter shoulder length strap, so let me show you. On this side, I'll have it attached on the longest setting and I'll only adjust the other side. You have the option to adjust it on both sides evenly where you have the um, straps hanging on both sides and I'll show you a picture of what that looks like. Um, but today I'll just be showing you uh, ways to carry it where you have these straps tucked in. So what you would do is just pull the straps through the buckle until you find your desired length. Let's do it right here. Secure it, push the strap through the buckle and the strap all the way. Okay, now you have this extra strap hanging. Just wrap it around like this. When you get to the other side, you can wrap it through this strap Pull it through and if you want you can just kind of tuck it in like this and carry it like that or if you don't like the straps hanging on this side you could adjust it a little bit longer I like you just have it like flat laying like this it's really up to you this is what it looks like on the shoulder as a shorter shoulder strap. So that's the second way for you to wear this bag. This third way, I'm very excited to show you. So I just found this out just a few days ago when I was playing with this bag. You can actually wear this on the crook of your arm. And the way that you would do it is shortening the strap. Again, I'm all, only using one side of the strap to shorten it. Um, let's see, we can do it like this and put the buckle securely through. Now you have a really long strap on one side, push it through the loops, pull it through. Same thing, wrap it underneath, wrap this strap underneath this loop on the opposite end, pull it through. Now, this strap will go back on the other side, tucking it in on the side you first started. You can do it either on top or put that strap that you were playing with underneath the secure strap like that. Now, the third way you can carry this bag is on the crook of your arm. Isn't that cute? You have so many different options to carry this bag now. All right, so the fourth option is as a top handle, which is the same concept as the way you would wear it on the crook of your arm, but you just shorten it even more. So let's play with the straps again. I'm not gonna take the straps all the way out. I'm just going to adjust it right here on the side. And I'm gonna pull it um, just one setting up. Pull it through on the bottom. Just kind of play with it to adjust the straps again. Now you have more strap to loop through this hole on the opposite side. There you go. Now, 
it's a top handle. Isn't that so cute? Oh, I was so excited when I figured out how to do this. I wanted to show you guys as soon as I could. And if you don't like this excess strap hanging on the side like this, you can just tuck it in at the very bottom, just like that. And now you don't have any straps hanging out on either side. All right, so those are the five, I'm sorry, four ways that you can wear this bag. The fifth way that you can wear this bag is as a backpack. So let me show you. I am going to unwrap the strap from the longest setting and adjust it back to the way it was when I first started as a crossbody. So this will be on the longest setting. So let me see. Pull this all the way through. On the last setting, you would just secure that on this side. And that side's already untouched on the shortest, I'm sorry, on the longest setting. Now, in order for you to make this as a backpack, you would unbuckle the luggage tag, just like so. Then you will need to find the center of the bag where the adjustment hole is. Once you find that, you will loop this luggage tag through the bottom of the purse first. Then you will loop it through the um, strap. You will secure it just like so. Okay, now, now that you have it securely on the straps, this you can wear it either way, either this side as the front side facing, or you can wear it this side as the front. It's really up to you. I'm gonna show you what it looks like as this being the back side of the bag. So this is the fifth way that you can wear this bag is as a backpack. So those are the five ways that you can wear this boy chapeau souffle bag. Now we go over the five reasons why I love this bag so much. So the first reason is the versatility. Just like I showed you, this bag can be worn in so many different ways depending on how you feel, where you're going, what you're wearing, the options are endless. The second reason is that you have the option to remove this luggage tag right here and wear the bag as is, or you can add on your own style by adding like a bag charm in the front, or a coin purse, bandolier, whatever you want. It's just another way to style the bag. The third reason why this bag is amazing is how lightweight it is. This one is the soft, squishy version leather compared to the other small, um, smaller version that comes in the hard shell case. I'll show a picture somewhere on the screen. Um, this one is just super lightweight and it's just comfortable to use, um, which leads me to the fourth reason why I love this bag so much, which is the space that it provides. I can place all my essentials in here without having to downsize. I typically carry my uh, phone, wallet, keys, lipstick, and an umbrella just in case it rains. So I have an umbrella here. Let me show you how it fits. This is like the small personal version. It fits in here without any issues and it still has a lot of room left over for you to put all your other essential items. Um, my fifth reason for loving this bag is the pre-treated vachetta or vachetta leather. Um, here it's just this beautiful honeycomb color that already comes pre-treated and I don't have to worry about the patina process, if it's going to patina evenly, or if it has water droplets. 
Um, I don't have to worry about any of that anxiety when I'm carrying this bag, or at least not as much. It's a little bit more carefree knowing that it's already pre-treated. Um, I also want to go over with you guys the different materials it comes in besides the um, hard shell case covering that I showed you previously. Um, it does come in different uh, patterns sizes, materials. Um, if you go into the search bar in the Louis Vuitton website, there's over 20 options for you to choose from. Um, but yeah, there. these are the five reasons why I love this bag so much and five different ways for you to carry it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, concerns, please leave me a comment below. See you next time.